Christian Bale needs no introduction. He's a fantastic actor and a great man, but apart from being the leading man, he's also acted as a mediator between co-star Amy Adams and director David O. Russell whenever things got too tense. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Christian Bale on the set of American Hustle, so stay tuned. First up, Christian Bale acted as a mediator between director and co-star. American Hustle was one of the best films of 2013 with a star-studded cast, but everybody knows it just wouldn't have been the same without Christian Bale starring in it. But it seems like he did more than just act. And we have a lot more to thank him for than we thought regarding the legendary film. The 2013 film was directed by David O. Russell, who, as Bale revealed, isn't someone you want to work with. In fact, the actor had to come between himself and other actors, namely his co-star Amy Adams, acting as a mediator whenever things got too heated. The rumors were already going around. It's hard to hide things like these in Hollywood. After all, just the production of one film requires hundreds of staff members, or the indirect intervention of one person or another. The 48-year-old confirmed to GQ in a cover story that was published on Wednesday that those reports that claimed that he had to intervene on Amy's behalf during the production of the movie were in fact true. He said that he'd done what he knew to be the right and appropriate thing in quite the Irv style. This was a reference to the character he portrayed in the dramatization of the FBI's abs scam sting operation, which was filmed throughout the late 1970s and stretched to the early 1980s. Moving on, journalist Jonathan Alter first brought it up to the then CEO of Sony. He explained that he tended to play the mediator whenever he could get a bit of sense of where everyone was coming from. Of course, that didn't excuse abusive behavior on set, but if there was an actual reason the director was upset, it was in Bale's nature to try and calm everything down. He said that he usually attempted this by saying that they should just go and sit down and try to figure everything out. There has to be a way of making it all work without fighting or things going too far. The rumors first started in 2014 when an email appeared during the 2014 Sony Pictures hack between Jonathan Alter, a journalist, and the former CEO of Sony, Michael Linton, who was also Alter's brother-in-law. In the email, Alter claimed that David abused Amy Adams on the American Hustle set. He said that the 64-year-old's actions were absolutely lunatic and his abuse was extreme even by Hollywood standards. By this, he meant that harsh conditions during filming were, and unfortunately still are, normal in the film industry, even more so in specifically Hollywood. Many actors and even staff and crew members have complained about their bosses yelling at them, not to mention overworking, being made to work 12 to 18 hours a day without proper breaks, and being pushed past the limit is something too many have experienced. Adams admitted that David used to yell at her to the point where she would start crying on the set of the 2013 film. The 48-year-old addressed this in 2016, where she described the work ethic and atmosphere surrounding the filming as mania. Also, Bale says that both of them are incredible talents. During an interview with the British GQ, she said that he scolded her and made her cry. Not to mention, it wasn't a one-time thing that he lost his cool and got particularly hysterical. She said that David was extremely hard on her, and there is no doubt that it was a lot for her. She mentioned that the majority of the time she felt extremely devastated on set. Bale said that he did what he felt was appropriate at the time and made sure that things didn't escalate. Still, despite Despite everything that went on behind the scenes and the ups and downs during the filming, he didn't have the heart to look back on the project with his eyes and mind tainted with bad memories, keeping him from remembering everything extraordinary about the set of the movie. He told GQ Magazine's November cover story that things like these happen when you have to deal with two incredible people with such talents. The brilliant actor added that a human's imagination is a bit too incredible to be achieved using crews, cameras, and actors, but if there really was a way to get the closest as possible to achieve such a situation where human imagination was perfectly displayed in the face of a movie. It was by working with phenomenal talents, including the likes of David O. Russell and Amy Adams. The actor also mentioned that it was obvious that if they put people like these on the same project, there were sure to be some upsets, just as it was expected that in the end, the result would be great. And one thing's for sure, American Hustle didn't fail to deliver. Now for some other news about Bale in American Psycho. Starting with Bale in American and Psycho made significantly less money than expected. Fans were dumbfounded when it was revealed that one of Christian Bale's most iconic roles didn't earn him as much money as one would expect. In fact, he was paid less than the makeup artists who worked on the movie. When he was 25, Bale was the main character in the 2000 movie American Psycho, based on the novel of the same name written by Brett Easton Ellis in 1991. Bale played
plays Patrick Bateman, a young and wealthy investment banker who leads a double life as a serial killer. The film made its debut at the Sundance Film Festival in Utah and eventually went on to garner a large cult following. Many fans lauded Christian Bale's absorbing performance as the sociopathic Bateman. Although Bale's role in the film is remembered as one of his most celebrated performances, it turns out that it didn't make him the amount of money his Hollywood status would lead us to think. In an interview, Bale talked about the movie, saying that he only got the role because Leonardo DiCaprio didn't want to do it. He said that no one wanted him to play the role other than the director. They told him that they'd only allow him to do it if they could pay him that amount. Bale said that he was prepping for it when other people were playing the part, and he was still prepping for it. Plus, Christian Bale was paid less than the makeup artists. During the interview, Bale revealed that he was paid the absolute minimum for the role, and that even the movie's makeup artists were paid more than him. Bale said that he had taken so long trying to do it that they paid him the absolute minimum they were allowed to pay under the law. Bale continued that back then, he had a house that he was sharing with his dad and sister, and it was getting repossessed. So his first thought was that he needed to get a bit of money fast because he's got American Psycho done. He recalled that one time when he was sitting in the makeup trailer, the makeup artists were laughing at him because he was getting paid less than all of them. He said that that was his motivation to make sure to get enough money so that the house doesn't get repossessed. An account on TikTok called Hidden Movie Details talked about the revelation in a video, and many social media users were flabbergasted by the piece of news. One person expressed his surprise and said that he had mad respect for Bale. Another user asked how it was possible to pay a makeup artist more than the main character of the movie. One more user talked about the fact that the movie was recasted and a new director was put on board, and after the new plans were scrapped, Bale and the original director were put back on the project with a much smaller budget. Lastly, the actor credits him getting the role to DiCaprio passing it over. In the interview, Bale also joked that many of the rising stars in the 1990s and 2000s had Leonardo DiCaprio to thank for their careers. The actor said that any role that anybody gets was because Leonardo passed it on beforehand. He said that it doesn't matter what anyone tells you or how friendly you are with the directors. They all offered all of those roles to Leonardo first. The actor went on to say that Leonardo does what he does magnificently and that all the people of similar age to him in Hollywood owe their careers to him passing on whatever project it was. Interestingly, it's alleged that it was, in fact, Bale's stepmother, Gloria Steinem, who encouraged DiCaprio to turn down American Psycho prior to her marriage to Bale's father in 2000. It was revealed by Guinevere Turner, a co-writer of the film, that Steinem said that DiCaprio shouldn't follow up his Titanic role with a movie that has horrible violence towards women. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Bale's role on the set of American Hustle? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.